When you first arrive at Infinite Loop, check in at the front desk and we will guide you to your reserve station. At your station, you will find two controllers and the headset sanitized and ready to go. First, put on the wrist strap for both controllers. Then briefly press the button below the trackpad to turn the controllers on. You will see a green light indicating they are on and paired to the headset. Next, grab the headset and hold it on your eyes so it looks clear. There is a sweet spot so you may need to move it around to find the best spot. You will then twist the knob on the back of the strap to tighten it down to a comfortable level and then pull the velcro strap on the top to keep the weight off of your nose. Finally, snap the earpieces down on each ear and you're all set to jump into VR. There are several buttons on each controller. The main button you will use is the trigger button. This will be used to select items on menus, shoot weapons, and grab things in most games. The trackpad is used in most games to move beyond your current area. Easier games will use teleport. Just press down the trackpad, point the circle where you'd like to go, let go, and you will instantly teleport there. More difficult games will use smooth locomotion where you, you will use the trackpad like a directional pad or joystick. Press up to move forward, down to move backward, etc. Beware, this type of movement can cause some discomfort for motion sensitive people, but we put a warning on every game just to let you know. The small button above the trackpad is usually an in-game menu for most games. It can be used to return to the main menu or change settings once in a game. Our most popular kids game is Job Simulator and this button will be used to get back to the museum and change jobs. On both sides of the controller is the grip button. To use this button, you will squeeze the controller, and the grip buttons are used for grabbing objects in harder games. Finally, the system button below the trackpad will be used to switch games, which we will get into um, more detail here shortly. When you first enter VR, you will find yourself on a rooftop in a futuristic city. In front of you, you will find our game menu. On the top level, we have our easy games, medium games are in the middle, and hard games on the bottom level. You can use the arrows on the right side to scroll through each category to find additional games. On the left side you will find our filter section. On the top you have difficulty filters so you can filter on easy, medium, or hard games. Selecting easy here will show us all the easy games and you can scroll down to see additional ones. Below that, you will find our players. Clicking multiplayer will show you all the multiplayer capable games. And then below multiplayer, you will find our tags. This allows you to filter through shooter games, horror games, kids games, staff favorites. If you're selecting any one of these tags, we'll show you any games that we have tagged with that genre. And finally, at the very bottom, you will find our search button. If you click this button, it will bring up a keyboard. You can just type in the first few letters of any game you're looking for. For in this case, we're looking for Super Hot. We type in SUP, find Super Hot. We can click on that game, and it will allow us to uh, read a brief description. And then there's a Start button at the, at the bottom on the right, or you can click Back on the left side take you back to the menu. And to get out of the search button, you would just click the X in the top right to get back to the main game menu. Finally, one of the most important features of our system is the chaperone grid. You will be able to walk around in the games, but as you get close to the edge of your play space, you will see a grid like you see here pop up. This warns you that there's a real wall or the curtain or the couch or something that you don't want to mess with. So when you see this grid, you just want to take a step back, don't punch through it or walk through it. The most frequently asked question we get is, how do I switch games? When you're in a game, you're going to want to find the button below the trackpad, the same button you use to turn on the controller. Pressing that button will bring up this menu. You see on the right side, it'll have game controls. It kind of breaks down what the different buttons do for the particular game you're in. On the left side here, you'll find a volume slider. So if you want to turn the volume up or down, you can use this little slider to turn the volume up or lower it. Below that, you will see continue playing or switch game. That switch game button was what you're gonna to use to get back to the main menu. And then at the bottom here, you'll see time remaining and a call for help button. If you select that, that will send a, a message to the front desk to let them know that you need help and they'll reach out. And then if you wanna switch game, just click that switch game button real quick and that will take you back to the main game menu. So you can switch to a different game.
That's everything. Make sure to let us know if you have any questions, and most importantly, have fun.